Hey everyone, my name is Emmanuel Fonseca. I'm a fourth year communication and sociology major and a minor in professional writing. And welcome to Haku 2022. Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie Ramirez Ortiz. I'm a sociology and human development double major. Hello, this is Anna Yano, pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm currently a fourth year biological systems engineering major. And I'm so excited to be back in Tokyo. Yeah, so pretty. Hey everyone, my name is Ashley. I am currently fourth year in the biological sciences. I'm Lucero Macias Torres, fourth year studying international agriculture development. Hi, my name is Giovanni Rodriguez Nunez. I'm in third year majoring in economics and design. Hola, mi nombre es Audrey Reyes. I'm in fourth year psychology and become a studies double major. Hi, y'all. My name is Christina. I'm a fourth year sociology major. Hi, everyone. My name is Isaac Ramirez Chacon. I'm a fourth year political science major. I currently work at the Cross Cultural Center as a child lag community coordinator. And I'm both excited and grateful for this opportunity. Thank you, Haku, and you see you. Hi guys! So we just got to the airport. Our flight departs at 12 o'clock. It is currently 11.30. Mexican time. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we're making good time. It's all good. How do you feel? Are you excited? I'm so excited and I'm so nervous and I'm so ready. <laughs> <laughs> Same. All right, I'll see you guys there. So it's 11.50. Made it with 10 minutes to spare. Um, they're boarding currently. So let's go catch that plane. <laughs> Hola plebes, aquí andamos en el avión. And nos tocó esta mero atrás. Even though we were supposed to have this in the back. Emmanuel, how do you feel? Our friend gonna say hi up there. Hola Diego. We just arrived to our hotel in San Diego. It's so fancy. I've never been in such a fancy establishment in my entire life. We got the Room keys. Stephanie does not have a room. I love, I she doesn't have, have a room right now. I have to find a friend <laughs> and stay over. Anyone, if anyone is in San Diego, hit me up yes. so I can stay over. But oh my god, wait, Stephanie, the sign. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we just got to the conference. It is 8 a.m. It's time for breakfast. And everyone got their merch for tonight. And yeah, let's get it started. Let's get the day started. So we just finished breakfast. It's about it's about to be nine. And what do we have for breakfast? We have some burritos. There was like some chocolate, some cafecito. So it was pretty cool because uh, we get to keep out people with a lot of students, and so we can ask people, and they're like. I don't know, I, I couldn't expect it to be from California, I don't know why, like my own California. Yeah, there's people from all over. There's people all over, yeah. like if you hear people speaking, people are speaking in a lot of different accents. Uh -huh. cool. No, it's really cool, yeah. yeah. Literally, we have, we're in a conference room right now, packed with people, so we're really excited. What do we have up next? So we just, we finished breakfast, and now at 9 we have orientation. orientation. Yeah. I believe in this room, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah it's probably going to be in this room, but then we have orientation, and after that we have like a little boot camp. Financial, financial literacy. Oh, I need that. I need that. Yeah, we definitely need to know how to manage our finances as college students. Uh, and then we have just like more speeches, some breaks, thank God. And then we have some employer networking panels. That's cool. It'll be fun. But yeah, we've met a lot of cool people and it's been really good so far. It's really day one. Now we're like two, so we'll keep y'all updated. We actually met someone from um, <laughs> Washington. Washington, Washington University. So say hi. Um, also, yeah. Kellogg's is coming. Oh, Kellogg's. Kellogg's. I love Kellogg's. <laughs> oh, it's about to start. All right, we'll see you later. Bye. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm so glad we're here. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. How are you feeling? Listen to the music, feel the vibes, everything. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Tired, but it's been a it's it's, it's been a good comfort so far. Yes, it has, it has. Okay, what are you looking forward to next? Uh probably oh the exposition. Uh, yeah. So how did you like the networking sessions that we did earlier? It was good. I think there's just a lot more people than I expected. Definitely. And I have to check in with my social battery to make Def sure I'm good. Yeah. Definitely same. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm good. How do you feel about the sessions that we did earlier? Yeah, 
CIA guys. CIA? Oh, okay. What did you learn there? Well, there's so many careers in it, mm-hmm. and my major may be fitness. We love, we love. How are you feeling? I am. Uh, I'm tired, but we're excited and happy to be here. Amazing. Thank you. Me and Stephanie coming to you live from Haku 2022. How are you feeling, Emmanuel? Look at the beautiful little, light. It's a little quiet right now. Well, I think we're supposed to be quiet. That's okay. In 2012, became the largest uh, population of color in college. And since then, it has remained so. So we expect that a couple, two, three years from now, hopefully we will have uh, recovered from the pandemic and continue to move back. And that's why in the next slide, I want to share with you how in this map and in this graphic is very clear to all of us that exercises are all over the nation. Hey, how did you feel about that session that we just had? It was truly amazing and it's very inspiring to be at a conference that's dedicated to talk about some of the challenges that our students are facing, especially our Chicanx and Latinx students. So super, super excited for the rest of the conference and super excited to see how much we're going to engage with many, many people and learn so much about the different opportunities. Amazing, thank you. So UC Davis serves approximately 8,000 Chicano Latino undergraduate students. We're one of the campuses in the whole country that serves one of the largest number of Latino students. And uh, we are very close to becoming a Hispanic serving institution. And it's important that we're here, um, number one, because we educate a large number of Chicano Latino students, um, but we're also here to, as we transform to a Hispanic serving institution, we're learning from other campuses, other colleges and universities who've gone through that process and also contributing to the discussion around what does it mean to serve Chicano Latino students? Not only to enroll them, not only that they uh, succeed in declaring a major and graduating, but they feel like they belong and they feel they can make an impact while students at UC Davis and after going on to graduate school, into a career and paying forward the opportunities of a public education. Thank you so much. So we just ended day two of Haku. Day two of Haku 2022. And we're right here at and we just had some good meals with our career staff. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. So how was the food, everybody? Everything's gone. We had tacos. We had guacamole, ceviche. Everything was so good. Everyone's already tired. It's time to go to sleep. But it was a successful day too, I'd say. And we can't wait to see everybody tomorrow. UC Davis Haku. Yes. Sponsored by. (laughs) All right, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Thank you all for watching and. We hope you apply next year if you're a UC Davis student because this is a once in a lifetime experience that you don't want to miss. And hopefully it's somewhere exciting.